this is Card Warriors Magic, and I have just a little bit of an announcement to make. Um, I know a little bit earlier a couple of you guys liked the light blue mat, and a couple of you weren't a huge fan of it. So what we decided to do, or we decided to get a little compromise for both sides, um, I am actually going to be recording on the dark blue mat. And Luke is going to be recording on the light blue mat. So all the videos with the light blue mat are going to be by Luke. And all the videos with the light blue mat right here are going to be by me. Um, I kind of thought that you guys would like that. Um, uh, and honestly, both mats are amazing. And in case you are wondering why there is less shadow, as you can see, I got a little bit of better light uh, to cancel out the other one. So now the shadow is underneath my arm. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into the trick that I made up. Uh, it's called interconnected. I really hope you guys like it. I think it's awesome. Um, so yeah, just letting you guys know what's going to be going on from now. So I'm going to go ahead and perform this trick and then I will teach you how to do it. So, uh, if the spectator were here, I would go ahead and let him pick any card. So let's say he wanted this one okay we'd set that one right here and um, let's go ahead and have a quick look at it go ahead and show you that and then um, I'm just going to try to uh, you know what we'll just take it right here right and I'll just cut it into the pack just a little bit right so maybe let's say right there and then I'll give this a little bit of a uh, shuffle and now I'd like you to name another card, but not the same one that you just saw, okay? So um, go ahead and just name a card. Let's say you wanted the uh, Nine of Clubs, okay? So the Nine of Clubs. So I'm going to go ahead and just take the pack. And um, look, we have all these cards right here. I'll give them one more shuffle. And uh, let's see. You said your card was what again? Uh, what card did you name? Just go ahead and call it out. So if I just snap, you can see that the card actually shows up, the nine of clubs right here, right? So you know what? That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and just take the nine and uh, stick it right in the pack. And uh, what was the second card? Go ahead and just call that one out. Um, whatever it was. I'm going to go ahead and spread through, and you can see that it shows up right here, right? So you know what? That is pretty cool and all. I'm just going to go ahead and take it right here, set it right here, and um, look, one last snap, and you can see that the cards are so connected that they actually change back into each other. That was the trick, guys, and be sure to stick around for the explanation. Okay, guys, so this is how you're going to perform that trick. It is a little advanced. So um, it will require some moves that you'll have to practice to get down, uh, but it's really awesome. So all, all you have to do at the beginning, go ahead and have a spectator pick a card. Let's say they wanted that one, okay? Right there. Oops. Uh, let's say they wanted this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and take it, and whatever way you want, uh, get it to the top. Uh, I used a false cut um, that I believe we've taught earlier, uh, but... Um, we might not have, but just false cut it, whatever you want. Get the card that they just selected to the top, and then you can retain it while you shuffle. Just maintaining that top card right there while you shuffle the pack. Um, so, yeah, that's what you want to do. Keep that card on top, and then have them name a different card, okay? So let's say they wanted the Ace of Spades, okay? Go ahead and go into the deck. Do a call, a spread call. And uh, just pull that card, the Ace of Spades, to the top, like so. Uh, we have taught that previously. Uh, so pull that Ace of Spades to the top. So now on top you should have the Ace of Spades, uh, the card they just named, and the card they selected. Now you can just say something like, okay, go ahead and call out your card, right? And then I, I did a, a Chinese deal. Um, whatever you guys want, just do a cool way to reveal it. And then go ahead and say, now look, there's the Ace of Spades. Uh, the one you just named, and then get a pinky break under this one, the uh, card they selected, and then go ahead and take that ace of spades, put it on it, and lift it all up as one. So you have the nine and the ace, right? 
go ahead and take the ace, stick it in the pack somewhere, right? Uh, maybe right here. And then what this does is it just reversed their card. So as you take the ace, flip the deck over, um, and you can see that now their card is face down. I like to say, go ahead and name the first selection. Boom, just like that. Uh, you have that. Now you want to cut this to the top. So take this packet, cut it to the top, and then now you have the nine of spades with the ace of spades under it. Go ahead and do, I did a uh, paintbrush top change. Uh, basically, you just have the nine of spades and the ace of spades. You lift both up right here, and then just take that like that uh, by releasing the nine. Put that on the table, cut this up so the nine disappeared. And then last of all, just say, okay, look, just like that, you can see that the ace of spades uh, shows up again. So that was the trick, guys. So just be sure to get those moves down. It requires the coal, maybe a control or a card cut uh, like that, and then also that top change. Um, so just practice those moves and get it down, and then tell us what you think last of all. Thanks for watching.